Okay guys, this is uh, video three of a three-part series on how to build your own website and get your own email, which I think is very important as I mentioned uh, throughout the other two videos. Uh, right now, if you watch the other two videos, you should have learned how to get your own hosting. You should have learned how to get your own domain name. You should have learned how to do the one-click install of WordPress that gives you the general structure of the website. And then in the second video, I showed you how to install the optimized press theme, which makes building the site much easier who, and who also has very good tutorials. On this last video, it should be very easy. Um, I'm going to teach you how to create your email in your new hosting account. So you have, uh, instead of using uh, buzzglover at gmail.com, you can now use buzzglover at your business name. So uh, what you need to do is go back into your Bluehost account, and I'll just open it up again. So we'll start uh, at the beginning here, and I'm going to log into the, the hosting account that I just created. Okay, and it's letting me log in. Chances are you would, um, chances are you would need to re-enter your password depending how, how soon you do it after the last time you logged out. Okay, now you're, you're into your um, Bluehost account, just come and click on this menu here and click email. And you're going to come down and say create an email. You could see that it already populated your, your website name at bizloanfinance.com, which I showed you how to do earlier. So I'm going to put in um, as my email, and you can do it however you want. You can use your last name, your first name, both names, but I'm going to put in uh, Buzz, and it, it doesn't matter, caps or lowercase, Buzz Glover at bizloanfinance.com. Keep in mind, this is not the email you should get a hold of me because chances are this is not going to work in the future when I shut this hosting site down. Um, I'm going to pick Suggest p uh, Password, and they're going to put the password in, and then now, one other thing, I, it, it does have mailbox storage of 250 megabytes. I always click on this unlimited because if you get above 250 megs in your mailbox, the mail shuts down. I found that out from uh, the School of Hard Knocks. So just hit create. Oh, one, just one other thing. This shows you web, web mail clients. Um, you can use their client to go in and check your emails. You're basically, if you use RoundCube, you'll go into RoundCube and it'll, all your emails will come up. Eventually, you want to take some time and have that email work in your own email client. I use an Apple computer, so I use Apple's email client. Um, and maybe I'll show you real quick here. But if you, don't, if you just want to use their email client or you don't want to use Outlook or Apple Mail or any other type of email client, you can integrate that with your own email client. But uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to hit Unlimited. I'm going to hit Create. And now I have my own email, buzzglover at bizloanfinance.com. You can start putting that on your business cards. You can start putting it in any correspondence. You want to use this email um, account when you are talking with clients because it's a lot more professional. Um, now, if you do want to, and I'm not, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, but you're going to have to, if you do want to put this into your own email client, like you're using Apple Mail or you're using Outlook, just hit over here. It says View Details. And let's see here. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. View Details. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what you have to do? You go into... Um, uh, here it is, device setup. Okay, yeah, this, and I apologize for that. This device setup has all kinds of different ways to automatically do it over here. Like I said, I'm not going to get into it in this video. Auto setup for other devices. If you're using Apple Mail on a Mac, if you're using Apple Mail here, if you're using Outlook 2000, if you're using Windows, Outlook Express. Um, on an iPhone or an iPad, you, I think you can just use this QR reader and it'll set it up. But you can, you can integrate your new email to one of these other email clients. 
so you don't have to go on to their reader or their webmail client to look at your emails. Um, if you have questions with this, Bluehost is very good at walking you through this. So you either call them or ch get on a chat line with them and they'll walk you through the setup of your email client. So there you have it. Now you, uh, you've taken action. You've taken the next step in your business. You have the start of your website. You have your own email. You can go out and get business cards printed. Um, and you're taking action on getting started in your business. So thanks for joining me. Once again, thank you for using my links down below uh, for the small commissions I make. It helps me fund some of this free content. And um, also, if you have any questions about business loan brokering, please contact me. If it's about setting up a website, you should either go through Bluehost, uh, if it has to do with your email or WordPress, and if it has to do with Optimized Press, you can look at their tutorials and they also have a support area. Uh, I can help you somewhat on setting up your website, but I can't answer all these technical questions. A lot of them have to be sent to the, to the company itself. So but I'll try to help you any way I can. That's my whole motto. So thanks for joining me again, and I look forward to serving you in the future. Look for a lot of great content. Uh, if you haven't signed up on my website at bizloanconsultants.com, please do so, and I will notify you of any new videos or any new content that I add to the site. Appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon.